Hi, my name is George Krebs, and we're here at the STC's Clean Technology Showcase. There are over 20 companies exhibiting their smart technology products. We are going to take a look around, so uh, come on with us and we'll uh, show you some of the booths. Hello, my name is Eske. Um, I'm the CEO of Panasonic, and thank you for coming to our little booth. Right now we're demonstrating 3D technology as we look at consumer electronics for the next 5 to 10 years. The two major trends where all the applications are moving into the television is 3D or connected devices or broadband enabled devices. This TV actually does both. Not only is it a fabulous 3D and a 2D set as well, it also has Skype and obviously they can cut down in your telecommuting and things like that as well. What we have, what we're designing is a system whereby you have a box with all the batteries and you manage your home energy consumption by watching your TV. You just need another approach to kind of get that into the people's home. That's our take. Hi, I'm Robert Bernard. I'm the Chief Environmental Strategist for Microsoft. I'm here today talking about our product, Microsoft Home, which is a self-service energy office. And it works by basically entering in your own information. So this is my house in Seattle, and because it knows that I live in Seattle, I gave it two pieces of information. It tells me that my home, if it were really energy efficient, would be spending 900, but I'm actually spending 2,000 dollars a year. And the question is, why? And with this, I'm here to look at which appliances are using energy and why, and how that works, and how much carbon you're producing. And with this tool. You can actually spend like, between 5 and 20 minutes and find out exactly where your home is wasting energy and actually how to go figure it out and help yourself today without the need of hiring an electrician or an energy auditor. Hi, I'm Mike Byron with GE Appliances. This is our new GeoSpring heat pump water heater. It uses 60% less energy than a standard electric water heater. That will save you about $300 a year over the cost of normal water heater. So it's massive energy efficiency. It has features such as a vacation feature that you can push to tell how many days you're going to be gone. Let's say you're going to be gone 10 days. On the ninth day, it turns itself back on so that you can have a hot shower when you come out home. In addition to that control, it also comes smart grid enabled. When it's plugged in, the unit now talks to your smart meter, and it's communicating with the smart meter. It can change its behavior during periods of high electricity costs or critical demand periods. During those periods, it'll reduce the amount of energy it used and save the, save the use of electricity and save you some money. Uh, as you know, about two months ago, we released the country's first ever national broadband plan, uh, emphasizing the importance of us driving a world-class broadband infrastructure in the United States for a series of reasons. Uh, one, integrate broadband with our smart grid, and second, empower consumers with information so that they can make the market for clean energy work. Uh, to ensuring that consumers have access to data, that they own that data, and that they can use that data for their purposes. So number one, if we're really going to make this smart grid work, we need to ensure that consumers feel comfortable with developing all this data. And secondly, the most important part, I think, is they have to be able to use that data for their benefit. The, the idea of giving information to people so that they can use that information to be a, a more thoughtful consumer or the ability to save energy and to save money and to make money is something which this is all about. It, it's inherently in all the things that Broadman will give us. Uh, in a very deep way. It's just a small sliver of what Barbank will give us. And so you've just gotten a good sense of our Clean Technology Showcase. We hope you've enjoyed some uh, cool equipment and technology that will be coming out in the uh, months and years to come. And uh, it's all pretty exciting. Signing off from the FCC.